here with ToriTillip.com and I'm actually on site today uh, with the J Squared interior staging and design team. Super excited, I'm gonna be staging this kitchen behind me. It's not really a big kitchen, um, but it will need a few key accessories in order to showcase the space and make it feel at home to potential home buyers. So let me show you the way that I would decorate the countertop spaces inside this kitchen when it comes time to staging a property. Now, the first thing to note here is that since the area is pretty small, we don't want to over accessorize the space. If we over accessorize the kitchen counter space, it's going to feel cluttered. People aren't going to think that there's enough space or there's enough cabinetry to put the um, items into. So there's just, again, a few key accessories to get this job done. So come stage with me and see how I get this room prepared for sale. So usually the first thing I'll do is take either um, a cookbook stand or the canisters. And uh, in this case, we have a variety of accessories to choose from. Um, I'm going to start with these white canisters. And if you can see, there's not a lot of space here by the stove. So where else could these canisters live that make sense inside this property? I'm going to place the canisters over here on this longer uh, side of the countertop. And usually you want to group things in odd numbers, right? So we have three canisters that we're working with today. You know, one thing that I like to do is um, find like find something that I like, or maybe something that uh, represents the area that you're living in. So we're here in Richmond, Virginia, and I don't know about you, but I like me some pasta. So what's gonna like? What's a picture inside this cookbook that's gonna make someone? Uh, someone's mouth water and then someone who's like, ooh, damn, I wanna cook inside this kitchen. Give me a second, I gotta find one. It'd be nice if it's like got, ooh, what about that? <gasps> Yummy. So, um, I'm going to Potentially open this up to this page. Top of spaghetti. And then uh, we do have another cookbook here that I don't think we're going to need. Yeah, I'm not going to use this one. We have this one here. Now, the next thing that you want to do, oh, let me go back one step because let's say you don't want to do it this way. You don't want to have the cookbook this way. You can put multiple cookbooks kind of by um, on the stand. This is just a little bit more of a modern way to kind of use your cookbook um, and put multiple books over here if you don't want to just open it up and display a page. So maybe we'll leave it like that for now. The next thing you want to look for is some type of a cutting board, right? Nowadays, if you go and look on Instagram, you'll see that people are putting uh, lots of cutting boards together inside of a kitchen. So I only have this one cutting board, of course, it's a pineapple. And I think I'm going to do is put it on this side of the stove. And so I'm going to, do you guys see that? 
So I'm gonna lay it up straight, and then what I'm gonna do too is take um, our utensil caddy and some utensils that we have, wood utensils. Always use wood, don't use plastic, it looks a little bit more luxurious. And um, rather than having like a lot of wording being said, like you see this says, what's cooking? So rather than showing that, I'm just gonna show this side again, it makes it look a little bit more um, rich looking. And I'm just trying to get that all to stay there. So uh, you can't see that, so I will move you guys so you can real quick. So what we did is we layered um, the cutting board with the utensil caddy right there in this smaller space. So we're still maximizing our space um, and allowing it to be functional inside of this kitchen. And we have the cookbook over here. Be wary too of potentially like trying to hide plugs um, when you are considering your countertop decor. All right, putting it back over here. How's it going? Tell me where you're from and what you're doing. All right, so we have the utensils, we have the cookbook. Um, another thing that we can do here is um, we have this tray, or it's almost like a wine, a, a wine holder, but I'm gonna use it as a tray today. And I'm just going to put, um, Four bottles, these are just apple cider. Um, they're supposed to represent wine or something. So here is what we have done with this. And I'm wondering where I can put this. I actually might put these right behind you because there's another little space that um, where you're actually sitting on that. That's where I'm going to put these canisters. And it's always a good idea to play around, um, with stuff too. If you don't like the way it looks the first time, go ahead, try something new. So I'm going to make this a little bit more colorful and functional over here on the side. Um, so I'm putting the wine little tray here. And I'm gonna put some fruit, because we have fruit. You all need fruit in your life. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, and we've got two of these. playing around, playing around. Um, I may also like this grass here. So I'm gonna potentially put it behind the sink. Again, so we're not wasting space. And it looks a little bit more functional. that 
that is just about it. Let me... So what do you guys think? Just a few key accessories here. We have a little tray set up with um, some fruits as well as uh, some drinks. Uh, we have greenery. Greenery is important in a kitchen because everything is such a um, hard surface and you need to be able to bring in some natural organic materials. So greenery definitely is a go-to for us. And we also, since there's windows over there, we like to bring the outside in and that's also what this plant does in that corner. We have the books, of course, to whip up your favorite recipe and then some utensils in the corner and the canisters over here on this small countertop as well. So let me know what you think about this. If you want to see more Stage With Me videos, go ahead and put that in the comment section below. And um, until next time, happy selling.